Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing a foundation comparison. And I am comparing two foundations that I'm really, really, really liking right now that I feel like give a very similar uh, finish or they just seem very similar to me. Like when I think of one, it just like blurs together with the other. They're just very, very similar, pretty much. <laughs> so that is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Tint. This is brand new. I did a review on it, go check that out. And the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops Skin Tint. So since they do seem so similar to me, I want to compare them, put them right next to each other and see what the similarities are, what the differences are, which one I think is more worth your money, all that so before we get into it please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel you get three videos a week and would just mean the world to me so thank you but if you want to see me compare these two then stay tuned for the rest of the video okay guys we've done a million of these videos and I absolutely love comparing different products so yeah we're comparing these two today i really 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 like both and i feel like they're very similar so i want to see just how similar or different they really are so i'm going to be reading up on the details on both for you guys just to see kind of what's similar there difference in price difference in size finish everything like that so we're gonna do that and then once we have read up on everything then we're gonna try them both out one on each side of my face to see what they do for me and then I'll do the rest of my makeup to see how they react with other products in comparison to the other and then I'll let you know which one I think is more worth it so the first one that I have pulled up is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Tint. This one has SPF, it's SPF 20, which I love. So this one goes for $43 and it's 0 0.95 fluid ounces. And I got this in the shade 315 Medium Matsu, literally perfect for me when I have a tan. So it says a skin tint formulated with hyaluronic acid to provide up to 24 hours of hydration, light coverage, and a fresh natural looking finish that lasts. So coverage is light, finish is natural, formulation is liquid, SPF is 20. This tinted moisturizer visibly balances texture and tone while letting your natural skin shine through. Available in flexible shades that work across different complexions. The formula is non-comedogenic, dermatolo dermatologist tested, suitable for all skin types and free of fragrance. And now we have the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. This one goes for $32, so this is like 11 bucks less expensive than the Shiseido one. I have this in the shade 9. So let's see what this one says. A lightweight, buildable, light to medium coverage skin tint that leaves skin looking blurred and smooth. Flexible shades for all. Coverage is light, finish is natural, formulation is liquid. This one does not say that it has an SPF though. So as far as like coverage, finish, all that, they're the same. This one has SPF, this one does not. This one's less expensive, this one's more expensive so far it also says this is an easy to apply flexible skin tint rihanna wanted to create it quickly and visibly evens out your complexion with a blurred effect the hydra blend complex and humidity sweat and transfer resistant formula has a smooth texture that layers well with primer and skincare i'm gonna apply both with a beauty blender Oh, and then before I forget, this has 1.08 ounces. So this one has more product in it than the Shiseido one. But like I said, I'm gonna be applying both with a beauty blender. That's pretty much all they said on the packagings. I do have to mention, by the way, I love the packaging of both of these so, so, so much. I don't really know which one I like more. I feel like this one just looks a little bit more luxurious, but I absolutely love both. Both are very travel friendly. And that's pretty much all I have to say. We can just start applying and then see what happens. I'm gonna do the Shiseido on this side and then the Fenty on this side. And I already put a primer on. I only put my vitamin C primer from Smashbox. I didn't put a pore filling primer as usual because I want to see how both do in comparison to each other for my pores. So yeah, 
let's just get started and then we will talk a little bit more. Okay, so both are applied to my face and I love both. I knew that they were going to be similar. Looking at them both on my face right now, I literally feel like you couldn't even tell I was wearing two foundations unless I told you that. They are very, very, very similar. I will say though, I went to go wash my hands after because the Beauty Blender had some makeup on it and I was looking at both in natural lighting. This side, in natural lighting looks a little bit well and in this lighting looks a little bit more like flawless like kind of airbrushed kind of thing especially under my eyes I don't know how well you guys can tell but I feel like under this eye it just looks a lot less like crepey and then under this eye it looks a little bit more like there's, there's like fine lines that you could see you know so that I definitely liked more about this side. And I was looking at my pores and I feel like they're very, 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 very similar. But this side, just by like this much, was a little bit more, like I said, airbrushed for the pores as well. I do think that they are both a lighter coverage, but the Fenty side had a little bit more coverage to it. Like I had redness on both sides of my cheeks today for some reason, I don't know why. And I felt like the Fenty side did a better job of covering up that redness. The Shiseido side did cover it up as well, but this side just looks a little bit less red than this side, if that makes sense. So Fenty has better coverage, but the Shiseido looks just more flawless and does a little bit of a better job for the pores. Both feel really amazing. They feel really similar, not too sticky, not too dry, and both do have a beautiful natural finish. There's not much of a difference in the finish, both natural, like I said. So that's pretty much it for right now. I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup though and see how both products do with other makeup products, and then we'll talk and I'll give you guys some final thoughts. So I'll be right back. All right guys, I am back. I did the rest of my makeup. Kept it a little bit lighter because both of these I consider to be more of like a daytime-ish foundation. I'm obsessed with both. Obviously, they both look amazing. They work amazing with other makeup products, both of them. I honestly don't have anything negative to say about either side of my face. I feel like they did pretty much the same job as far as working with other products. The only thing I noticed is that this side, again, after letting everything sit for a while, putting on other makeup products, my pores just look a little bit better on this side, and it just looks a little bit more like airbrushed kind of thing. So that's really it. Like I said, the only main differences between the two are the pores thing. I like my pores better on this side. The Fenty side has a little bit more coverage. The Fenty side doesn't have SPF. Uh, the Shiseido side does have SPF. The Shiseido one has a little bit less product in it, but if I absolutely had to pick one product that I would recommend over the other, I would have to say that it would be the Shiseido side. I don't know if you guys are seeing, let me just get up close for my under eyes one more time. Like look at how much more just like plumpy my under eye looks on this side than it does on this side. And I feel like that really makes a big difference because this side of my face just looks more like alive, like younger, if that makes any sense at all. But I just, I'm enjoying this more than I am this and not saying that the Fenty one sucks because the Fenty one is amazing and I'm going to keep using it and I'm going to keep buying it when I run out of it but I just feel like the Shiseido side is doing a little bit more for me than the Fenty side 
it just again looks a little bit more flawless a little bit more youthful and for a daytime kind of foundation i don't really need like more coverage you know like i like something light so i just feel like this to me is just a tiny tiny bit more worth your money either way you go though you're not making a mistake because both of these are winners to me and both are freaking amazing absolutely love both so that's just my opinion <laughs> you guys let me know though your opinion what you think looks better which side you feel like looks better maybe i'm crazy maybe i'm not just let me know your opinions obviously say hello give this video a big thumbs up for me and please subscribe to my channel but stay tuned and i will see you guys in the next video